Hello everyone, I'm Hunter Foles with Redleaf Pursuit Outdoors and today I'm going to be taking you on my hunt for the split G2 buck. My hunt for this buck started on November 3rd when we received our first cell cam pictures of this deer. We only ever got about five to six photos of this buck and it was between the dates of November 3rd and November 5th. However, I knew this buck was staying to the west of us as one of our buddies had velvet pictures of him all summer and even found his sheds during the spring. There was a thicket about 800 to 1,000 yards from where we originally got our first photos of this deer and nobody hunts it and it's always full of does during the rut. I noticed some big rubs in the thicket that butted up against the road that goes past it. So I knew there was a pretty good buck staying in there. We got permission to hunt this thicket during the week of the Ohio gun season, but it's too small to get in and hunt. So I decided to set up on our fence line so I could overlook the thicket and shoot anything that comes out along the edge. Guys, it's November the 29th. It's the opening day of Ohio's gun season. And we're set up in a completely different spot today. We're in the little fence row along one of our cut bean fields. We got our cornfield that's still standing over here <coughs> to the south. We got a cut bean field to the north. And then we have a thicket which we got permission to hunt this year. Straight ahead that goes around this bean field. There's always deer in it. I saw a big buck in it a few weeks ago. And there's a bunch of big rubs in there that you can see from the road. So we know there's deer staying in there, and there's likely to be a big buck in there because nobody's been in there all year. It's too small to really bow on. So we're setting up kind of just in a spot where we can see what comes out and also see what comes out of the cornfields here in front of us. So it should be a good night. We should see some deer. But it's going to be more of an observation night to see what's staying in this thicket. So hopefully the deer move, and uh, maybe we can get it done tonight. It wasn't too long and our action started and we had our first deer move in of the night. We got some does stepping out over here to my left out of the standing cornfield. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, guys, we just 
We just smoked the split G2 buck. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness, he's an awesome deer. We've seen pictures of him a few times on camera. I had a shot at him at 150 and I couldn't get the gun steady on him quick enough and he went to about 190 yards and I just smoked him. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, that was so awesome. I gotta call Lily. Hello? Lily, I just smoked a giant. No shit. I just killed the split G2 buck that's been over here. <gasps> Babe! Woo! Yay! I watched him I watched him fall over. Oh my god. Hunter, I literally pulled over because I was so excited. I didn't know what you were gonna tell me. He's oh shot him at 190 yards. I, yeah. He looks awesome. Hang on, I gotta call. I gotta talk to Grandpa. I gotta hang up. Hang on. Hello. Hey. Hey. He came out of the corn on the waterway. And he stopped at 150 yards, and I couldn't get a sh my gun steadied. And he took off running and went to the thick, to the edge of the thicket. And I think he was 190 yards, and I smoked him. And he did the mule kick, went about 40 yards along the thicket, and fell over. Awesome. He's awesome. Well guys, three years since my last kill, and I finally got it done on a nice Ohio buck. First day of gun season here in 2021, I put about a 190 yard shot on him with my 350 Legend. Great shooting gun, has a lot of character. Little kicker off the G2, split brow on the right side. Had a couple trail cam photos of him earlier this season, but finally caught up to him. What an awesome night and a beautiful hunt. And I just smoked it. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, that was so awesome. Finally caught up to him. What an awesome night and a beautiful hunt.